the Enterprise. Prepare for imminent proximity detonation. The torpedoes. Here on the damn torpedoes. Yes! Yes! Today we're watching another movie from Where Is My movie. movie? This is requested by Luis. Is uh, Star Trek Into the Darkness, released in 2013. Let's see what is happening. This is the second part, right? Yes, this, because... Uh, previously, Luis, I think, mm -hmm. he requested Star Trek. I forgot what the title of the Star Trek was. But I remember from the previous Star Trek what yeah, happened. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, it really was like, did. you know, like a... That was the beginning. Future... Yeah, between past and future with... Came to uh, save... What? Marian cannot do this. What is that? Ah, no, this no, no. how they do it, Marian. I can't. You can't do it. I can't. I belong in the Star Trek universe. But anyway, <laughs> want to see what is happening? Because yeah. probably it's going to start from where it's left off. Yeah, I think it's a continuation. continuation. He became the captain of the Enterprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, I searched online. Yeah. There is an older version of Star Trek. Really? So I'm not. I don't know why Louise recommended us to watch this one first. Maybe this one is the most like a, according to the to viewers the these days. <laughs> to the lore, yeah. What the but the hardcore right? fans, I know they go way back. But anyway, let's just jump into it. There's like a centipede crawling on our wall. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, let's jump into the movie. But before we do that, if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and also tap the notification bell. Please do. Let's just jump in. Class M, M? Planet Ni Nibiru. Uh, okay. The heck? Ma. Damn it, man! That was our ride. You just stunned our ride. Oh. <laughs> Is that? Oh, look at that. Is him and the doctor, right? Oh. Well, if that a spear in your foot, you're down. I can see that. Oh boy. Is he going on top of the They're volcano? They're trying to neutralize the volcano, Marian. That's what Jim said. Uh oh. They have a problem. I can't hold this position. Spock, I gotta pull you back up. If this volcano erupts, the planet dies. Mm -hmm. The planet dies? So they're trying to save the planet. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Whoa! Oh, oh, no. I broke the cable. Oh no. Did he know? At least he fell on the edge. We have to abandon the shuttle. We can't just leave him, sweetie. We don't have a choice. I'm sorry. Those people doesn't even know that they're trying to save their planet. Yeah, they don't. Primitive life. What are you gonna do? Be careful, Jump. be careful. He jumped. Wow, look at that. That's the Enterprise? It's below? Mm -hmm. That's why that Sulu said swim. Whoa. I like that guy with an accent. <laughs> we have use of the transporters? Negative. Sir. Not with these magnetic fields. I need to beam Spock back to the ship. Give me <laughs> the guy got skin. It's a fish. The Enterprise is too large. If utilized in a rescue effort, it would be revealed to the indigenous species. Such action violates the Prime Directive. Shut up, Spock. We're trying to save you, damn it. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Spock, we're talking about your life! They care more about his life than himself. Uh... Ah, this Spock is always following the rules. Gonna be is accepting his fate. Yeah, obviously. Oh, he's gonna erupt with him. Ah, oh, they revealed themselves, Marianne. I think that was what Spock meant. They are not meant to see the Enterprise. But I don't know what will happen if they know that someone be tried to save because them. Because they're afraid they will. What they will just not believe. Try this. to worship them instead. Because ah. they think they're the gods. Maybe right. <laughs> you know, like. Look at Did them. I not tell you that it's more than us? <laughs> That's That's it. It. They're so amazing. <laughs> Eight, seven. Seven seconds? <gasps> oh, look. I think it took him. I think they did. Teleport him. Wow, look. Froze. They took him. Yep. You alright? Captain, you let them see our ship. He's fine. <laughs> Violated the prime directive. How oh, come on, Spock? They saw us. Big deal. Oh, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. Our God is supposed to be more powerful. They, they threw that paper they now. They threw it. It's not important anymore. Look. Hello? See? The ship. They made the ship and they will worship that now. Did I not tell you? <laughs> like, can you imagine people before like, whoa. 
What is the most amazing thing in the world? That one. Oh, no, 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 we're going to worship it. Because <laughs> that thing is in our DNA, but to, to worship something that is, is unexplainable. <laughs> yeah, that we don't understand. Bigger than us. <laughs> I know. And more powerful, I guess. Ooh, what is this? London? 2000. What is that? I don't even know. Million. Oh, there's a point there, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did it die? I think no so. No way. Didn't. Why they will cry then? Because she's still not better? I can save her. Oh, okay. Huh? What did you say? Your daughter. I know this voice. Actor's voice. Who are you? Oh! See? It's him! What is it doing here? On an official report, you lied. You think the rules don't apply to you because you disagree with them. You were supposed mm. to survey a planet. Not alter its destiny. This has been brought to Admiral Marcus's attention. He convened a special tribunal to which I was not invited. Oh no. They're gonna punish them? They've oh, taken boy. the Enterprise away from you. What? Oh They're no. Back to the Academy. What? To the Academy? Oh. Reevaluation, I guess. He cares a lot for his crew. That's what you should. Uh... Remember what happened to his father? Yeah. He followed the rules and he died. What is this? Blood. This guy again. Oh, hey, this guy. Man. He gave his blood? See, that was his blood. Maybe he's not human. So now he owns that guy. Yeah. He does owe him, Marian. I think he's gonna do something for him. Transmission, Transmission sent. Whoa! He died also, Marianne. Whoa! I think the whole base there. Man, I think it's like their enemy, man. That guy that we just yeah. Saw. Game over. <laughs> Game over. They gave her back to me. The Enterprise. Ah, oh, he's the captain again. Watch your back with that first officer, though. This box not gonna be working with me been transferred hmm. you're gonna be my first officer what? what be seated they're gonna say the news by now some of you have heard what happened in london i received a message from a starfleet officer who he was being forced to do it by this man commander john harrison they found out it doesn't seem odd to you that he targeted an archive it's like bombing a, a library you got something to say kurt say it tomorrow's too late I, why the archive all that information is, is is public record in the event of an attack protocol mandates Senior command gather captains and first officers. Oh, correct. Mm. Would commandeer a jump ship without warp capability. Uh oh. <gasps> Maybe. Oh no. Uh oh. He knows. It was a setup. That's a trap, Marianne. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. He was right, Marianne. Man, it's just one tiny ship. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wrecking them. Ah, <gasps> oh, oh, no. that's it. It's done for. And it's back to be the captain, I guess. Okay. Ah, cause he's gonna suck it. Mm -hmm. Boom. Gonna blow up. Nice. Watch out. Whoa. I think there's no man manning the, uh, the ship. But it's good to I not think... kill them. Oh, it's there him. Is. Did He's he? being teleported by someone else. So he is with someone then. Yeah. He doesn't work alone. And he's done for. Oh, poor guy. Oh, no. Mm, Jim will be so pissed off now. This is how the bastard got away. What do you mean? It's a portable transport beaming device. Well, what the? Figure out where he went? Let's he's see. going to the one place we, we just can't go. Where, where is he? He's on Kronos, sir. I request my command be reinstated and your permission to go after him. He knows if we even go near Klingon space, it'd be all out war. Starfleet can't go after him, but I can. But well, why he can? Permission to reinstate Mr. Spock as my first officer. <laughs> Granted. 
Okay. <laughs> They're back again. Back together. <laughs> but in a see. bad way though, because so many died. I'm again your first officer. It is now my duty to strongly object to our mission parameters. Also, preemptively firing torpedoes at the Klingon homeworld goes against You everybody. yourself said the area is uninhabited. Regulations aside, this action is morally wrong. Regulations enough. aside, pulling your ass out of a volcano is morally right. Just explaining to this gentleman that I can't authorize any weapons on board this ship without knowing what's inside them. Now, I can't detect the type of fuel that's in the compartments on these torpedoes because it's shielded. Now, I asked for the specifications, but he said... It's classified. Why is it classified? Maybe they will fire something they don't ex expect, man, to be more there, stronger. Maybe there's a different agenda here, you know? I think so. Scotty, I need you to approve those weapons. Well, I have uh, mixed feelings about this. Me too. No? I have a feeling now. Maybe Spock is right. Like, it is morally wrong to to fire the Klingons. Our orders, Scotty. That's what scares me. It's clearly a military operation. Sign for the torpedoes, that's an order. Oh, he's on revenge! I, oh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what I'm about to say. Oh, no, so I I just make it do you accept time? my resignation or not? I do! <gasps> oh, uh, boy. Ah, oh, not good. He cannot see it clearly now because he's full of um, revenge. I feel it was a setup from a very higher... To, to attack the Klingon. Exactly. They, oh, the they, though. they probably that that guy is a mercenary. Yeah, and he, and he paid to attack on them, so they have a reason why to Klingons or how they call Klingon, them? Klingons, Klingon, to attack them, but not to actually kill him or whatever, but to blow them apart. What is she doing? Oh. Uh oh. He startled me. What are you doing aboard this ship? There is no record of you being assigned to the other. Oh no, that's it. I can only assume the admiral is your father. Cannot know that I'm not. What? Ooh, what happened? Mr. Chekhov, did you break my ship? Corn overheated. I had to activate the emergency stop. You're coming with me to Kronos. Lieutenant, how's your Klingon? It's rusty, but it's good. Good, you're coming too. This isn't going to be a problem, is it? You two working together? Absolutely not. <laughs> They're kind of like, you know, <laughs> business only. I am detecting a single life sign in the Katha province. Mr. Sulu, I think we found our man. You let him know you mean business. This is Captain Hikaru Sulu of the USS Enterprise. If you do not surrender to them immediately, I will unleash the entire payload of advanced long-range torpedoes. They're putting it? I calculate the odds of him attempting to kill us at 91.6%. Good thing you don't care about dying. <gasps> Lieutenant, I would prefer to discuss this in private. You prefer not to discuss this at all. That's Our what you prefer. Are you, are you really going to do this right now? The volcano, you didn't give a thought to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is right. You didn't care. And I'm not the only one who's upset with you. The captain is too. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, he, uh, he outweighed the... What is the risk? As Admiral Pike was dying, I joined with his consciousness and experienced what he felt at the moment of his passing. I had experienced those feelings before, multiplied exponentially on the day my planet was destroyed. Such a feeling is something I choose never to experience again. Oh, poor... Poor Spock. You mistake my choice not to feel. As a reflection of my not caring. He's overwhelmed with too much, man. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa. Uh huh, uh huh. His 91.6% to kill them is right. Mm -hmm. Ah, someone's chasing them. Yeah. By a, D4 class Klingon vessel. <gasps> a Klingon. Klingon. Alright, there, there, we can lose him there. This ship will not fit. We'll fit, Captain. We will not fit. We'll fit, we'll fit! Whoa! Whoa! They fit! Barely! Man, look at them! <gasps> wow! wow. Is of them? No, which worries me. We lost them. Or they're jamming our scanners. Or we lost them. <laughs> that guy is so positive! Did I tell you all about fate? Oh no! They're There's surrounded. more than one of them! That's it. Game over. Maybe they're not bad as we thought they are, right? We will see. Maybe they're worst. Ah, uh, yeah, because uh, based from what people are saying, if you mess with them, it's like an all, all out war or they're something. They're notorious. Let's see. Look at them. Ooh, Man. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's it. No, no. Who is shooting? Uh huh, uh huh. Who started 
it's shooting. Someone is shooting. Maybe this John Harrison. Yeah, it is him. But this guy is good, man. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. He tried to shoot him. Yeah. Man, is f that guy is fighting all of them. It is him. Stand down. How many torpedoes? Stand down. 72. I surrender. What? On behalf of Christopher Pike, my friend. Who's gonna kick him? Your surrender. Punch him. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Ooh, he's so strong, man. What is this he's guy? He's even bleeding. You're not harming him. Is he a droid or something? Not even like a scratch. Yeah. It's I don't too think... easy, this mission. I don't think it will work as well. But it's too easy. I think it's, he... this is all planned, man. I think so, right? Part of the plan. Put your arm through the hole. I'm gonna take a blood sample. Remember his blood saved that girl's life as well? Mm-hmm. Why aren't we moving, Captain? An unexpected malfunction, perhaps in your warp core. Conveniently stranding you on the edge of Klingon space. He knows? Ignore me and you will get everyone on this ship killed. What? Man. Maybe he's not bad either. Because the Klingons will come here eventually, right? Because they yeah. just chook, chook, there in their Well, planet. he surrendered, so that means he lowered his uh, garden in a way. As you seem to have a conscience, Mr. Kirk. If you did not, then it would be impossible for me to convince you of the truth. Give me one reason why I should listen to you. I can give you 72, and they're on board your ship, Captain. Oh. I suggest you open one up. What? This is quite confusing. So he surrendered only because there were 72 torpedoes in the in the ship. Scotty, it's Kirk. <laughs> oh, well now. Amazing <laughs> Captain James Tiberius. Perfect here. Help me out with something. Will you take these coordinates down? 23, 17, 46, 11. May have okay. been about those torpedoes. Uh, I will consider that an apology. <laughs> you are the one who quit. You made me quit. <laughs> But it feels good now. We're gonna open a torpedo, the question is how. But Jim, without Mr. Scott on board... The girl. I think she knows how. The Admiral's daughter appeared to have interest in the torpedoes and she is a weapons specialist. Loaded and ready to fire. What are they? I don't know. That's why I forged my transfer onto your ship to find out why I do uh, apologize for that. So she's not bad. Let's see, let's see. Maybe her father is bad, Marian. We found the leak, sir, but the damage is substantial. Any idea what caused it? Uh, no, sir. I think someone sabotaged the ship, Mario, so, so they're stuck there. You're gonna wanna see this. There's a person there. Huh? Who's a person there? Who is that? I don't know. Jupiter. What the heck is this place? What is this? You no, know, right? They're building something? Maybe. Shh. Ah. It the trans the transition, but shh. Yeah. But if we try to revive him without the proper sequencing, could kill him. He's three hundred years old. What? What? How? Why is there a man in that <gasps> torpedo? There are men and women in all those torpedoes, Captain. I put them there. What? Maybe it's this kind. Genetically engineered to be superior so as to lead others to peace in a world at war. Ooh. We were condemned as criminals, forced into exile. John Harrison was a fiction created the moment I was awoken by your Admiral Marcus to help him advance his cause. Alexander Marcus needed to respond to an uncivilized threat in a civilized time. After that, he needed a warrior's mind. He wants to get rid of Klingon. I, I think so. The planet. The Klingons would come searching for whomever was responsible, and you would have no chance of escape. Mm -hmm. See? Would finally have the war. He talked about the war he always wanted. I see. Proximity alert, sir. And he has uh, no reason to lie. Klingons at war. We both know who it is. It's Admiral Marcus. He really wants war, that Marcus, right? Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa. Oh, it's bigger than them! Huge! What? Look at that! Maybe that's what they were building where that guy found, Marian. That's Scotty. Captain Kirk? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's him. 
Per Starfleet regulation, I'm planning on returning Khan to Earth to stand trial. Shit. Uh, he's been him. caught. What else did he tell you, that he's a peacekeeper? Khan and his crew were condemned to death as war criminals. He's an engineering, sir. But I'll have him move to the transporter room right away. He's playing alone. Mr. Sulu, set course for Earth. Yes, sir. They're gonna warp. Whoa. They left. Look, it's just me. They're chasing them. after them. <gasps> We're so fast. I know. Oh. And he's firing at them. Wow, it's crazy, oi. Wow. Oh, no. <gasps> no, Marnie, this is it's the first time open. he's gonna lose so many crew. You know, that's his fear all the time. That's it. He went out of the warp. Yeah. On this ship is going to die if you don't let me speak to him. I think the father doesn't know she's there. What are you doing on that ship? Yeah. Then you're gonna have to do it with me on board. Mm -hmm. Actually, Carol, I won't. Oh. <clears throat> you're being no. war uh, oh! taken. It's been taken. Target all aft torpedoes on the Enterprise bridge. Sir, my crew was just was just following my orders. If I transmit Khan's location to you now, all that I ask is that you spare them. Mm. Just to spare the crew. But if it's any consolation, I was never going to spare your crew. Fire because they don't... He doesn't want them to tell the people on Earth what he did. Mm -hmm. mm. So You're he's right. cleaning his mess with them. Oh, wow, man. they're so he's freaking He's firing tiny. the big guns. What are you going to do? Think. No, I don't think they have a way. It's off. Fire, oh, I have a feeling. I know who's responsible for this. It's okay. Scotty, Marianne. <laughs> yes. Guess what I found behind Jupiter? You're on that ship. I beamed me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take him, take him. What happened to the end? Hide. By time, hide. Our options are limited, Captain. We cannot fire and we cannot flee. Mm. There is one option. Mm -hmm. They will have to work together. Coming over there. Sulu's maneuvering the Enterprise into position as we speak. You need to find the manual override to open that. It's good. It's good. Crazy. Whoever you are, <laughs> they'll have full weapons in three minutes. That means next time I won't be able to stop them destroying the Enterprise. Oh man, three minutes. Got it. I'm in the hangar. Give me a minute. <laughs> good thing there's so few workers in this ship. You yeah, because minimal crew. <laughs> Scotty, did you find the manual override? The manual override, override Scotty? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Man, this guy is gonna lose 10 pounds. <laughs> Before you launch, you should be aware there is a considerable debris field between our ships. Oh, debris? Man, that guy is ready. <laughs> He's doing the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm set to open the door. You ready? Are you? <laughs> Man. Three, two, Oh! One. Whoa! Oh, so fast! Be careful oh. of the debris. I know. Captain, there is debris directly ahead. Copy that. Wow. <laughs> Those are huge. Man, they're like dodging them. Way off course. I know, I know, I can see that. Oh, of course, not good. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy! If you don't open the freaking hatchet, ah, oh, he's dying lock. himself. He's dying himself, Marian. So do you will not. Ah. <gasps> uh... I'm working on getting his signal back. Stand by. <gasps> oh no! Oh no no no! It's breaking! No, no. This is so freaking dance! Whoa! Man, they're so good Whoa. doing this! Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. Mr. Sulu, did we lose Khan? I don't know, Commander. Huh? I'm having trouble tracking him and all this debris. <gasps> uh, 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 uh. Commander, <laughs> is that gonna make it? What? Oh no! Oh, Khan is Khan there. Khan is back. Of now where is the freaking door? Come on. But that scary if he does open the door, they're gonna die. They're gonna splash like an egg. Nine. The person counting down, what is that? <laughs> you hitting things, mate? Oh, it's gonna hold it. That guy's gonna be pulled. Scott, open the door. Open! There! <laughs> that guy's dead meat. Close the door! Nice! Whoa! Good thing they have a long runway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because if not, they will smash on the wall. That was intense, man. Are you gonna talk to them again? No, the new Vulcan, Marianne. He's ah. himself, her older version of himself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mr. Spock. <laughs> yeah. In your travels, did you ever encounter a man named Khan? Khan Noonien Singh is the most dangerous adversary the Enterprise ever faced. Really? Did you defeat him? At great cost. Yes. How? That's not very good uh, news. Whoa! Oh, he's too powerful, man. You alright? Yeah. Where's Khan? Oh, no. Dr. McCoy, you inadvertently activated a torpedo. Could you replicate the process? Oh, damn it, man. I'm a doctor, not a torpedo technician. The fact that you're a doctor is precisely why I need you to listen very carefully. He has a plan. Maybe he wants to kill them, man. I don't think so. Maybe to threaten Khan? Maybe, maybe. Well, stun him, Khan. I thought he was helping us. I'm pretty sure we're helping him. Wow, this is so freaking confusing. It's so freaking tense because everybody has an agenda ex except them. They, yeah. they just want to, like, go back. Safe. Woo! They came. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They stun him. Yeah, but now he's not gonna uh, trust them anymore. I know. Because of this. not actually gonna do this, are you? Ah! Be careful, he's regenerating faster than you think. Ah! Oh! Oh! He's back, he's back. He doesn't care about nothing, man. <gasps> Broke her leg! He wants him. It's breaking him. Man. Whoa! I'm going to make this very simple for you. Captain. Your crew. For my crew. If I do so, I have no guarantee that you will not destroy the Enterprise. Well, let's play this out logically then, Mr. Spock. If you destroy our ship, you will also destroy your own people. Your crew requires oxygen to survive. Mine does not. What? They don't need air? Lower shields. I see your 72 torpedoes are still in their tubes. If they're not mine, Commander, I will know it. The torpedoes are yours. He's taking them. I have fulfilled your terms. Now fulfill mine. Seems apt to return you to your crew. No ship should go down without her, Captain. No way. Well, because he thinks they are less superior than him. So he has to destroy them. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's gonna <gasps> shoot at them. Right man, he's so bad, man. Come on, do something. Crew of the Enterprise, prepare for imminent proximity detonation. The torpedoes. He armed the damn torpedoes. Yes! Yes! He armed oh, them. Oh, gonna blow there. Boom. Oh, yes. You didn't expect that, you bastard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's appear in my butt. You helped Spock detonate those torpedoes. Damn right. You <laughs> can't screw I've got cons. See, they took the bodies out. Human popsicles, safe and sound in their cryo tubes. They're still alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, but now he's really pissed off. That can. What? What the heck is that? <gasps> ay, 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 hold, ay. hold, hold. As acting captain, I order you to abandon this. Oh. I will remain behind and divert all power to life support and evacuation shuttle bay. No. Man, this guy. I order you to abandon this. Oh, ship. I don't think all they will. Respect, Commander. But we're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's it, they're staying. Come on. And he's falling apart. And he's gonna catch flames once he's getting inside the oxygen. How about Khan? This, did Khan die? Because he's know. very strong. Someone has to hand the manual override. Speak on the deflector dish. I'll flip the switch. Nice. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Ship's dead, son. She's gone. Man. There she's Come on, oh. man. If we go in there, we'll die. Do you hear me? The radiation will kill us. We'd be dead before we made the climb. You're not making the climb. Whoa. Man, he's this going, guy, man. man, is sacrificing himself for everybody. Yeah, because it's the only way to save the crew. Wow. If we don't get power or shields back online, we're going to be incinerated on re-entry. Incinerate. That? Wow. Oh boy, it's getting. Wow, it's burning. Boys! Wow. wow! Oh! Oh, he's still falling. Boom. I heard the thrusters. <laughs> Back online. Barely, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to Kirk? Open it. 
The decontamination process is not complete. You flood the whole compartment. The door's locked, sir. Oh, he's there. At the door. I'm scared, Spock. How do you choose not to feel? He choose not to say that he feels. Right now, I am failing. <laughs> man. Don't tell me he's gonna die, man. Yeah. Yeah. The, f the blood is trying to fight the radiation, but it's failing. Oh. That's it. Man, look at him. Cause he killed his friend, man. Man, I got chills. See? Man. Oh, he's coming. Run, people, run. Oh, whoa. And he jumped. Can we beam him up? There's too much damage. I have no incoming signal. But it may be possible to beam you down, sir. Uh huh. Go get him. This is it. He's gonna do oh, his careful. revenge. Careful, because that guy is dangerous. Man, he's so like because of his friend, man. He doesn't follow logics or like odds or whatever. Now it's just personal. There isn't anything you can do. Maybe his, um, what's his name, Khan's blood will help him. Oh yeah, maybe. But he's dead already though. I know. He's not like he's sick and still breathing. Uh, you know, the brain is still active for I don't know how long. Even when you're dead. Oh yeah, you're right. It was dead, but he was alive. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nice, nice. I didn't know Spock was that powerful as well. What? Oh, okay. No, he's not fighting him anymore. He realizes it's hard. So he's running away. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Boom. Mom. Man, he counted like oh, I <laughs> limit. Quite a bridge. I can't reach Spock. I need Khan. His blood. Cause oh, this arm um, was his name. Spark is set on killing Khan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Zap him. Stun him. Yeah, stun. Whoa, how many takes? Okay. Hit his head. <laughs> Boom! Wait. Their only chance is in her. Oh? Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> One last punch. Yeah, put them to sleep. Wow. He's back. They managed it. Ice fusion. Your cells were heavily irradiated. We had no choice. Why did you catch him? I didn't. Your friend. <laughs> On a rampage. <laughs> yeah, he was. They didn't want him to catch him. He wanted to kill him. We are here today to rechristen the USS Enterprise. And to honor those who lost their lives. Mm -hmm. Look at their ship. Nice. <laughs> Fixed. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Her five year mission. Oh, five year mission. Yeah, that's what he wanted, right? Mr. Scott, how's our core? Hurting like a kitten, Captain? <laughs> Come on, folks. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> five years in space. <laughs> well, you're the doc. Mr. Sulu, take us out. I got it. Ooh, wee. Oh boy, thank you Luis again yes, for recommendation. That was, that was really good. Yes. I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the first one that we watched, the Star Trek. I don't yeah. know what's the title of that, Star Trek, whatever. I forgot, yeah. And um, what do you say? There are so many creatures, creatures, <laughs> it's annoying, mm -hmm. that we haven't like met. Oh well, yeah. Because they're like, you can, you know, make up all kinds of creatures here but yeah we have this like superman kind oh yeah 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 it reminds me a bit of uh how superman was like a, that's what they were very like, like we have Krypton, superman on uh, our ship yeah they were banished before because for they, a reason they, yeah they were but that um ja admiral he was too selfish he wanted to be uh the starfleet to be more on military mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so he wanted to destroy klingon yeah right and he uses was it what was it khan that yeah. was his problem waking up khan well he used his uh the judgment to make that type of ship 
very advanced and weapons and also weapons. the torpedoes imagine if you wake the whole crew. but then he wanted because he was afraid that he goes g gonna go rampage and he wanted to kill yeah i think he wants them. yeah he wants to er erase his you even know what, his evidence it was for a time being that i kind of give him uh, the the you know the judgment of uh not judging him what like, which like part? Giving, giving him the justice why which not part? to what he killed but the fact that he wanted to save his own crew who is ah, ah, Khan. Khan, Khan, you're you know? talking about Khan. oh yes like uh he when you think about that that's not a bad thing but but then when you see him how he deals with the things around him for him is only that crew and yeah, everybody else he, can just die because he is doing what he was meant to be doing right yeah. but the the whole problem started with the admiral when he woke yeah. him up yeah i know right they were in cairo sleep yeah. why wake them you when you know exactly what kind of people they are but uh, nothing can go close to kirk and uh spock relationship like oh, for each other I really like the relationship it's so like nice. man even in the beginning how uh, kirk uh, captain kirk saved him and he wasn't supposed to and they were like very everybody was like you know judging him like why would you do that you risk like you know even show the ship to the primitive life and all that but then at the end here when you see spock like when he was like so mad and yelling Khan, mm -hmm. that was when he finally get it, like, beyond um, rules, beyond, like, uh, judgment, beyond everything, is the very fact that when you really love your friend, you will go beyond for them. Family. Like, you know, that, you don't care. That's why at the last part, when Spock wanted uh, the crew to leave the ship, mm -hmm. and uh, Sulu and the rest of the people, they were like, no, we're staying. Yeah, yeah, Cause, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet if Kirk was there, mm -hmm. remember he never, he, I don't, I don't remember him telling the crew to, to uh, what do you call that? To go away. What to do you call go that? Away, right? to, to abandon the ship. To abandon the ship. Yeah. He really want you you feel like he was only concerned about the ship. No. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. so concerned about the ship because this is the home. Their crew's everything, home. everything for him was like, If he you know, saved the ship, he saved like the I crew. Like I said, like I said, when I was about like uh label him, like you know, judging Captain Kirk, mm -hmm. he goes by fate. Everybody has their own logic, like uh, follow orders, follow whatever. He goes by blind faith. For him, is like, if I feel in my gut feeling that this is what I need to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. It's the opposite of his father. I know his father was a, has a good heart, right? Has yeah, a yeah, good yeah. Heart. He, he, they have the same, that they want the best for their crew. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. His father sacrificed himself, himself for the crew for the crew yeah. i know kirk would be able we'll to do, do that, that. i we'll think he that. would uh, that's why he did when he went to the but the, prob the difference between them is kirk cannot follow orders i mean ah, jim yeah. cannot they're both kirks right he cannot he cannot follow orders but his father followed through yeah, that yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever he's their more, protocols because like, you learn from the past man there's you learn. <laughs> this the actor but that played gun here i didn't ever know spock uh, is that powerful as well? Yeah, remember? He's very strong, man. What was that? What was that movie? And that, that guy was like yelling. <laughs> Khan was <We're> yelling. Because <laughs> see, we're not hardcore fans of this uh, Star Trek, so we don't know them, all of them, what their capabilities of. But he was determined to kill him, man, to kill Khan for his friend. Yeah, we don't even know why that Klingon are dangerous. And uh, Uhura, her name? Uhura, when, yeah. when she came, like, no, he's the only chance to save. Uh, and he stopped. And punch him for the last time. <laughs> but the the guy that played um what's his name? Khan. What's his name? The Ah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. forgot. Benedict, I think is real uh, Doctor actor's Strange, name. Strange, yeah. He's so good, He's good. being a villain. Yes. Because of his voice, it reminds me when that happened. Even movie. the smog. He's the so, dragon. More so deep. And have you noticed yes. in the Star Trek from the first and the second one, there are many actors that plays in the MCU? Three oh, yeah. so far. Yeah. Him, um, the first one, the father of Kirk was played by Crimson Hemsworth and Uhara. Uh, 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 the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So three of them. <laughs> I like it. I like it because it gives you the feeling that you kind of know them personally. Mm -hmm. As I don't really believe an actor can really play something a hundred percent opposite of how they are. Yeah, yeah. You really have to be along with your personality because I think that's what when they do like a like um rec recruiting like a list for a movie casting oh uh, casting 
they're already choosing like okay we're gonna make this they movie they can already picture they what can kind picture. of actors they want to play in exactly. that role exactly exactly yeah. so you know every single time it has to be based on what their capabilities so, so are so that's why for me uh, ben benedict uh, the best, the play uh, that for can, what is. he is good at playing a villain i don't yeah. know why i see him like Bisc even at, as doctor strange i don't see him 100 percent good <laughs> because his role in the in mcu is not like the the hero that how is a uh, thor or how was uh, a yeah. uh, iron man and all that they will sacrifice themselves for everything he goes by the logic man he's gonna go ahead with millions of possibilities <laughs> and he's just gonna do that and tormenting that huge beast remember mm -hmm. for many like billions of times and enough i give up like he's still kind of bad when you think about it even though it turns out to be good no, I don't know, but this still, I like him when he plays because he, his voice fits him in that Deep. kind of role. And even this guy, was his name Chris Pine? Is the one that played Kirk? I think so, It's yeah. good. I don't know why I barely see his movies. I though. saw in other movies as well, but not really too many. Like, but he's good at this, um, whatever, like a role. And even the guy that played Spock. Mm -hmm. very good. good well anyway i hope you enjoy your reaction to this yes. one guys i hope you had a ha you had a blast if it was gonna <laughs> be another star trek i will gladly watch i think there is oh i don't know we have to watch i'm not sure this so is 2013 you. yeah so thank you louise yeah. for uh, requesting this one for us yeah i'm quite amazed because lately the requests are very like on point like very good very movies. good requests. thank you all of you for all yeah. of this well if there's another star trek let us know guys yes. if you want to su suggest a movie let us know in the comments or if you want to see the full length movie of this one you can join us on patreon we have a lot of movies guys that we haven't uploaded to our youtube channel please do till next time bye bye